for the next part of our kit, we have our Tactical Med Pouch 2.0. Now what's wild is the kit also includes this tourniquet sleeve, a Cat5 tourniquet, and a Wilder North American Rescue paired IFAC. So that's already impressive that the belt kit has kind of a one-stop shop for your medical to include a tourniquet and a whole bunch of different IFAC items. This bit, I don't know if a lot of you have dealt with, but when you get a med pouch, you oftentimes have to hunt around for different pieces and you know different things that'll actually fit and with different sizes of med kits, you never know what size medical equipment is going to fit in that kit and then what stuff isn't. It can certainly be a pain and you can waste a ton of money doing that and just having to figure it all out. So you have to have a whole lot of knowledge about what you're doing before you even get started. So I like seeing this simple eye fact that's included with everything that fits in all the stuff that you get. Hey wizards. Welcome back as always. So recently we've been flooded with a ton of belt and loadout requests. So I figured I'd show you some more options so you can compare them all. The setup I'm gonna show you today too also comes pre-packaged with the holster adapter, medical, IFAC, and all the magazines. So it's a great place to begin if you're just getting started and don't really know how to configure your belt yet. And that setup we'll be taking a look at and evaluating today is the Wilder Hitman Elite Kit. I'd be curious if I'd want a belt kit that's already all pre-configured and set up, or if I'd want to buy all the individual pieces. But buying it all individually means I'd know exactly what I want and need, which is a little bit more complicated, but you certainly could do both if you wanted to. As always, you can use discount code TLDCO to save a whole bunch on pouches or whatever on the Wilder Tactical website. And we'll also be looking at the Hitman lightweight belt soon, as this thing really competes with some of the best of the best. I'll have a link to the whole belt review up here whenever we finally get that done. And yes, I know all of you want me to do a core belt review. I know, it's on the list. I, it, I'll get to it. All right, though, before we look through this whole loadout, let's take a moment and thank today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Nocturne Industries. Save money and weight with the monocular Tanto that allows you to upgrade into a fully articulating binocular configuration with the Daisho Bridge. No matter your initial budget or your night vision goals, Nocturne Industries has you covered. And I'll show you all of that shortly too as we have a whole video about how the dice show and the tantos all work. And I think it's just a much smarter route than like the PVS-14 housing that's from like 1990s. So anyway, we'll show you all of it, but you can always use discount code TLDCO over at nocturneindustries.com also. As always, big thanks to Nocturne for supporting the channel. Now let's get to my biases. Now, Wilder did send me this belt for review, and we also do have an affiliate relationship with Wilder also. They actually sent two of this belt, so I'm sure we'll do some sort of live chat giveaway with this also. We all know there's nothing quite like watching the Wheel of Disappointment. Now, I don't think that relationship really sways what I'm gonna say as I'm probably the worst shell on the planet, but I want my relationships to be out in the open so that you can be aware of it and have all the cards on the table, and then you can watch more content and get more information than just from me. And I know I say that all the time, but seriously, take the time to be smart on the products before you purchase them. A lot of these other YouTube reviewers, like there's plenty of them out there that just, they just read the website for 10 minutes straight. So yes, I do have a relationship with Wilder. Yes, I'm probably still gonna say bad things. And yes, you should still get smart on the products. But I will say this whole like modular holster assembly that Wilder does is really pretty amazing. And I think you're all gonna like it. And it's really the only one that competes with the Bang Hanger and Shaw setup. It's, it's really pretty great. Again, all these bits come with the belt. So first we have our two individual urban assault pistol pouches. Now I showed you some wilder pouches in the past that were fully polymer. And this is a new lower profile version that has all the bungee internal to reduce snag hazards. The polymer one could sometimes have issues too. Like the bottom could push in, like if you went low to the ground or if you're against cover or something, it could actually push against the bottom and then push your mags out. So I'm interested to see what these ones do when we go out to use them. The outside of the pouch is extremely nice with a full wraparound design that gives a clean look on the front of the pouch with all your normal molly slots on the rear. Like we said, all the bungee is internal and there's also a polymer spine along the side. The polymer and bungee give the pouch flexibility for different size magazines because you can cinch it down or open it up to give you proper retention with different size magazines. I do want to say, we're already getting into it, that you do need to jockey with it a little bit. 
I had a few times where the mag just didn't seem like it wanted to stay put. And then when I tightened the bungee, it didn't tighten uniform across the magazine and instead just got tight in like one spot. Now along the inside, there is also a one inch section of loop to provide additional retention to mags when placed in the pouch. And I'm sure you can connect in some sort of retention lanyards like the ones that Agilite has, but I did find like the loop lining didn't give me a whole lot of positive retention. When paired with the bungee not being as uniform when you cinch it down, it can just, uh, it, it can just be a little tricky to get it perfect. That loop is just gonna get mashed down over time with a mag sitting in it, or it's gonna get worn super bad as you actually use it and pull out and reinsert your magazines. So I would have liked to see a more dedicated anti-slip material on the inside, like on the Grim Hunter Tactical Rapid Style pouches. Now, the whole setup does come with an attachment system that makes the whole wilder setup pretty unique though. The included tabs slide through the rear molly and then through the belt slots, allowing you to just screw the two sides together for a secure connection system. The kit also includes all the clips you need to connect up all the included pieces into your belt system in the same way. It's really simple and it makes this whole belt setup just take like two minutes because you're not weaving everything in and out of molly. But as we said, the pouches on the back do have regular molly if you still wanna use those connection systems or if you wanna use these pouches on a normal regular molly belt. And just thinking about it, I would probably say that only the DM molly plus system is actually faster in setting everything up because it uses like the simple one wrap system. Now, I do want to say that included in this is only the straight style connectors, so I can't do any of the angled mags that I like to do on my normal belt setups. Wilder does sell an adapter that is cheap to allow you to do this angled configuration easily, but I would have liked to have seen it included in this kit. And maybe I'm weird, but I feel like having angled pouches up front is such a must have, particularly when you have other kit that you're gonna put on and having other pieces you're trying not to ram into. So that's part of this that I would probably upgrade after this. Overall though, the pistol pouches are nice and re-indexing, they don't collapse in on you, that drives me absolutely crazy. But I do wish there was a bit of a better retention system. All right, moving down the belt. Okay, well this one's not actually included in the kit, but it's the only one I promise. This next bit we added to our belt was our Wilder and Stroop knives collab with the push dagger. I love the look of this as it uses a high carbon steel with these cool handle scales. The sheath sits nice and flush and connects in using the same UAB belt clips, allowing us to just connect in the belt and the sheath in one system. And I like this a lot because it's just a quick weapon retention knife that you can use if someone's like going for your firearm and you have to protect that hand. It's simple and easy, and you can even move the push dagger over to like an EDC setup if you want. I just, I like the whole thing a lot. Moving around, next we have our Urban Assault Rifle Mag Pouch. Similar to the pistol pouches, the rifle pouches have a full wraparound fabric design with molly on the rear. We also see the same polymer side spine with bungee routed internally to both prevent snag and also allow for a wide variety of mag sizes. From AR-15 mags to standard AR-10 mags, I had no issues. Small caveat though, you definitely have to work it so that you can get the bungee loose for that AR-10 mag. I probably had to reinsert it like five or six times to get everything to expand and sit right, and then just cinch it down a little bit more to get the retention to be absolutely perfect. On the inside of the mag pouch, we also see a larger section of that loop lining that also plays into some of that additional retention. I will say the rifle mag retention is a lot better, and I think that's due to having more surface area with the fabric and having that additional loop lining on the inside of the magazine pouch. The rifle mag pouch does have a more solid feel, but the bungee can again pinch in non-uniform ways, so I recommend you swim the magazines around while you tighten it so it actually forms to the magazine correctly. Similar to having issues with the AR-10 mag, I tightened down the mag pouch and somehow it only got tightened on the bottom, so then I couldn't insert the P-mag all the way. I, I, I don't have any clue how I did that. Connecting everything up, we use the same UAB attachment tabs to get everything locked in place in just moments by connecting in the belt and the pouch and then just screwing it all together. The connection system is one of my favorites because I feel like you get the lockup that you have with Tegris tabs that are you know, kind of a pain to put together, but then the speed of setting it all up of just using one wrap. Overall, I do like the rifle pouch. Again, I kind of had to jockey with retention a little bit, but once I had it perfect, it was set and it was just rock solid. Just don't mess with the bungee now. I have it perfect and you'll screw it all up. Our next bit in the kit is the Urban Assault Dump Pouch. 
The pouch sits nice and flat when stowed and has an outer loop area for patches or identifiers. Opening this up, we see it unfolds into a nice large pouch and the tab can be attached on the inside so it's not all flopping around. Or you can close up the pouch and connect in the outside so you keep all your contents locked in place. I found the pouch was large enough to hold five, looks like six, nope, seven mags total. And I'm sure the Wilder folks planned it out so that their dump pouch can hold a full combat load. So this whole thing is just about perfect. And I love how it sits nice and flat on the belt when you're not using it. So it's out of the way and not dangling everywhere. I did recently hear about this one goober online who ran it for a long period of time about how he brings 20 mags in his loadout, 20. So maybe, maybe he uses two dump pouches but that also hurts my brain a lot. Like who you, you know what? You know what, it doesn't matter. We're, we're continuing on. Moving before I go on a rant, for the next part of our kit, we have our Tactical Med Pouch 2.0. Now what's wild is the kit also includes this tourniquet sleeve, a Cat 5 tourniquet, and a Wilder North American Rescue Paired IFAC. So that's already impressive that the belt kit has kind of a one-stop shop for your medical to include a tourniquet and a whole bunch of different IFAC items. This bit, I don't know if a lot of you have dealt with, but when you get a med pouch, you oftentimes have to hunt around for different pieces and you know different things that'll actually fit and with different sizes of med kits, you never know what size medical equipment is going to fit in that kit and then what stuff isn't. It can certainly be a pain and you can waste a ton of money doing that and just having to figure it all out. So you have to have a whole lot of knowledge about what you're doing before you even get started. So I like seeing this simple IFAC that's included with everything that fits in all the stuff that you get. Looking at the med pouch itself, we see there is a hook and loop outer layer that allows for easy attachment of medical identification patches or whatever you wanna put on there. The front tab is large and makes it easy to be able to reach from either hand and the sides of the main pouch are also elastic to give some expansion for different size medical items. The bottom of the medical pouch also has molly slots that allow you to connect in the tourniquet sleeve and it actually comes pre-installed with a malice clip. It actually comes set up in this exact configuration when you order it with kind of your tourniquet and your medical equipment all set up in here. Now as cool guy as it is to have everything packaged up and nice and sterile and everything, you really have to have it available and ready to deploy. So let's take everything out and set it all up. Opening up our IFAC, we see a pretty smart small kit with chest seals, gauze, a bandage, gloves, and oh damn it, a Mylar emergency blanket. They include that Mylar so that you can evade from thermal if you didn't know, those they work really, really great for that. No, it doesn't. And stop telling me to sew Mylar into my clothes. That, that is ridiculous nonsense. All right, let's get serious. Uh, one issue I do have with this kit is that when organized and ready for deployment, it all just gets placed into the pouch, making it very difficult to get out exactly what you need. I instead used a Grim Hunter medical sleeve to organize everything, so it's in a much easier to deploy package. Then I can just pull this whole thing out if I need to hand it off to a buddy or if I'm needing to render aid to somebody. And that way I don't have a whole bunch of, you know, different medical equipment just strewn over the ground or have an open bag with stuff just everywhere. Plus having a medical kit or anything else in the small of your back can be obnoxious. So I like the ability to be able to remove this and put it in the side cargo pocket. If I'm like in a vehicle or it's just bothering me, I can move things around and then have the pouch just sit flat. So yeah, the med pouch is awesome and having all the included kit and everything that's included is pretty awesome. It's really, really smart. But it does need that added cherry on top of some sort of organizational sleeve or place to carry everything. Connecting up the med pouch is again simple as it uses the same universal clips I keep showing you that slide in and then just screw up to place in really easily. Now the last bit in our kit is the whole holster system but I do want to add that I would probably add one more piece to it. And I, I understand why it's not done because you start to get a more specialization of the belt. But for me, I would probably add in like an additional radio pouch or a multi-tool pouch at this point. And the small radio pouch looks nice. Also, I will say the Urban Assault handcuff pouch would also round out this belt in a more duty configuration. So at this point, I will say the kit, kind of my vote now, the kit is really nice. I would just pick up those angled adapters, and then one more kind of mission-specific pouch to round out this whole setup. But you're gonna wanna see this. This, this thing's awesome. Let's look at this holster setup. 
Here we have the Wilder multi-holster platform in FDE with the multi-cam leg strap. At the top are our screws that connect into our rear attachment tabs so you can easily install or remove this whole holster setup. And you can just buy this whole multi-holster platform system separately. Just be aware that you may need the duty clips. The duty clips are for the belts that are like two inches or up to two and a quarter inches wide. So look at what you need and then get the right size clips. Like the DM mech belt is, is super close. So just be aware, you may need to really pay attention to it. Again, get the right belt clip sizes, otherwise contact Wilder, I'm sure they'll help you out. Moving down the holster platform, you can then select your receiver type when buying this separately or in a kit. And I did the standard QLS for Safariland holsters, but you can also do the MHP adapter plate for your G-code, Alien Gear, and Blackhawk setups. The rear of the holster system also has height adjustment slots along with rotational slots. This means you can get the holster in the position you want with the exact amount of cant that you want. I found that I could get the same position that I could with like my bang hanger setup. So it's impressive to see that it still has all the flexibility and you know, different position manipulation that the whole bang hanger does. On the rear is the articulating leg strap assembly that allows for free movement separate from the holster system meaning the pistol will be in the same location every time, regardless of your leg position. I found the articulation in the leg strap is just a must have because otherwise when you move your leg, the whole holster system just drags against your whole body. It, it just does a ton of stupid stuff if you move around at all. Finally, I added in my Safariland 6345 RDS with the Bull Armory Tac 4 and a quarter to round out my holster setup with my favorite holster and pistol. Now I mentioned this in the Agilite Magnetics loadout video, but the uh, bang hanger and the Shaw articulating leg strap along with the Wilder setup are really the only options that give you all the features and the performance that you want and give you all the comfort you would want in a holster system. Now the Wilder just gives you a one-stop shop where you can buy all the bits together and have it all complete. Whereas the bang hanger and Shaw setup means you kind of got to shop around at some different websites and do some assembly yourself to get it all put together. Ultimately, I do give the edge just slightly to that bang hanger system, but it's also almost twice the price of the whole Wilder holster system. So that slight edge is kind of a wash with the price. Plus Wilder is this one and done purchase instead of having to hunt around and wait for a bunch of product drops. But that's the whole Hitman Elite kit loadout. So what are my thoughts about a kit like this after looking over all the different pieces? I think the Hitman Elite kit loadout gives users a great solution to get them everything they need to get started. From pouches to medical and IFAC, along with one of the best holster systems currently available on the market, you have a single easy to purchase system that does so many things well. I think it's overall a pretty smart kit and it's just a one and done purchase that you can have. And it's a good option if you're not really looking to just like min max your whole belt setup. As mentioned, some of the things that I would recommend you do if you're gonna finish out this whole setup, do the angled adapters, some sort of mission specific pouch, either it be handcuff pouch if you're gonna do a more duty setup or a radio pouch for a more civilian setup or whatever. There's a, there's a ton of stuff on the website. And then I'd also recommend you have some sort of medical sleeve so you can actually be more organized and be able to render care to someone and not have your medical stuff just slewn across the floor. It's really got all the bones to get you started. Plus it includes an inner and outer belt that are absolutely badass that I think all of you are gonna love. So make sure to stay tuned as we dig further into this kit and look at the Hitman Gear lightweight belt and see where it lands in our rankings. The features and price of this belt definitely throw it up there in the ranks with the big boys, so you guys are gonna wanna see that. But I hope this review of the Hitman Elite Gear kit was useful in your purchasing decisions and gave you some loadout ideas of what you can put on your belt. I wanna say thanks to all of our YouTube members and all of our Patreon supporters. You make it possible we can purchase all this kit, try it all out and see if it's worth your money. And I wanna say thanks to everyone that likes, comments and subscribes. Comment down below what you think about a kit like this or if you would just build your own. I'm curious of what you guys all think. I know I, I, know I kinda like to build my own stuff because I'm very specific and I know exactly what I want. But I don't know if everybody's like that. I'm just rambling now. All right, everybody. <laughs>
most fun thing you can do to somebody if they have this wilder belt, like if you see if you see them set up with this, just undo this little bungee. I'm not gonna do it because I have all my stuff set up perfectly. Just undo this little keeper here and they will have 20 to 30 minutes of resetting everything. Just do, just do it all or just, just pull it as tight as you humanly can. They, they are gonna love that. All right, this is a cool kit, really. Uh, I recommend it. I can't believe uh, from a medical standpoint in the kit that everything is included. Rarely do you see this, that it has an actual smart system that you can deploy, uh, you can use. I do wish it had something to keep it all in, like a sleeve or something. I'm, I'm sure they'll upgrade that. But this is a really cool. Even just this medical kit by itself is super smart. All right, everybody. I'm going to go work on, uh, well, not yet because it's not dark out, but night vision stuff is next. All right, everybody. <laughs> go away. <laughs>